I thought every kid, I think every kid draws and it, or, you know, is creative in some way. Um, and I think what's interesting about when kids are drawing and painting is that they're not, they're in the moment, you know? It's like they're, they're just not trying to have it look like anything specific. They're just in that flow state. You know, it's not until like later on that it becomes one of those situations where you, you know, you, you get out of that. It's like you strive to get in that flow state. Everything is just like you're trying to shut out the noise. It wasn't until I went to kindergarten and I was, we had to draw, we had to do an Eskimo, you know, something to do with, with like the, the North Pole or frozen North. And, and so I did a, uh, this figure standing in an anorak, you know, with the fur, the fur collar and the big, you know, all, all, any images I'd seen of sort of like Shackleton or any of that kind of stuff, you know, that was in National Geographic. Cause you know, um, when you're, when you're like five years old, it's like, your access to the world, but for some reason I had actually seen, you know, some of it. Or they might have even shown the kids like a little little video or something, but I did the drawing of the, uh, on, I could still picture it in my head, um, and I wish I actually had it, because um, it, was, it was a contour drawing in black crayon. And uh, after I did it, all the kids kept coming, they were coming up to me and they were like, how did you, how did you do that, you know? And like, I'm, I'm going, what are, you, what, are you talk, what are you talking about? Because I thought, again, every kid can draw. It was just so natural for me that I assumed it was, it was across the board. And then um, when I realized that other, they show, the other kids were showing me theirs, and, uh, uh, you know, they were <laughs> not that great, um, I, uh, I said, this is, this is it, this is for me.